at this point, we have completed the logical model, generated the relational model, and tweaked the relational model. So technically, at this point, we should be ready to generate the script for the database and load that script onto Apex and create the database and so on. But before we jump into that step, we should take a last look at our model and make sure that everything is OK, because any mistakes here will carry on into the database and cause complications later. So let's verify, first of all, just going through some of the things that we spoke about in the logical model. OK, every entity type should have its own primary key. And don't use any key migration in your logical model. OK, so once again, I implore that you go look at your logical model very carefully and diligently adhere to all of these points. OK, so again, make sure that there are no spaces or hyphens in your entity type or attribute names. No fully solid lines at all in your model. And also, solid lines only where absolutely essential. No many-to-many -many relationships. Again, I'm not saying here that your situation shouldn't have many-to-many -many relationships. An interesting business situation will definitely have several many-to-many -many relationships. But the point is that whenever there is a many-to-many -many relationship, we want to convert that into an associative entity. And therefore, what's going to happen is that you it will be replaced by two one-to-many relationships. OK, so finally, if you look at your logical model, there should not be any direct many-to-many -many relationships. And of course, every attribute in your entire model should be assigned a data type. This is also critically important. So you should really look at your model with a fine-tooth comb and make sure that you catch all of these mistakes if there are any. And following on from that, every numeric attribute and where care attribute must also have a size. OK, so for a numeric attribute, you need to specify the precision and the scale. And for a where care attribute, you need to specify the length. OK, so again, go through every single attribute, make sure that this is all done. And again, in your logical model, understand that foreign key attributes are implicit. The system will automatically take care of them. You don't go and manually create any foreign key attributes. In the relational model, make sure that all the foreign key columns have been renamed. This is not critical. You know, it's just that if you don't do this, then eventually when you develop the application, the column, the, the field names in the forms will be a little awkward. That's all. And make sure that all the primary key columns are auto increment. Now, while doing this process of verification, you may have to go and fix some issues. So for example, suppose after doing all of this, you realize that there is an error in your logical model. OK, so for example, you, your, uh, you don't have a primary key for some entity type, or you've got a space or a hyphen in one of the entity type or attribute names or something like that. OK, so if you do change the ERD after you have worked on the relational model, OK, then what you need to do is select relational one here and delete it. OK, so right click and delete and then go to logical model and engineer and repeat the steps for all the things that you did on the relational model. For example, changing the foreign key names, creating auto increment, all of that you will have to do again if you delete this logical model. Okay, so that's what I suggest to make sure that everything is clean. Right, so go back to your end, uh, logical model, make the changes that you need to make in the logical model, then delete the current relational model, and then re engineer back to the relational model. OK, it's better to delete this relational model so that there is absolutely no uh, problem or there is no possibility of generating the SQL from the wrong relational model. OK, so if you do change the logical model, delete the existing relational model and re-engineer to a new relational model and do all the tweakings on the relational model again. 